Okay, this is number two from worksheet two of Math 1, Mr. Tretna, Clovis High School. We are going to be creating a table from the function or the equation y equals 7 over 2 or 7 halves times 2 to the x power. We are going to be completing the table by substituting in each one of these numbers into my function for x and then we're going to be evaluating and then using each one of those values to create points that we're going to plot to make our graph. So in my first value when x is negative 4, my function will become 7 over 2 times 2 to the negative fourth power. I'm going to evaluate that and then I'm going to see what that actually equals to create a point. Okay. In order to evaluate this, I cannot have a negative fourth power, so I'm going to rewrite this problem as 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the positive 4 power. Simplifying this out further, that 7 over 2 would stay times, now 1 would stay 1, and 2 to the fourth power means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Multiplying this out, 7 times 1 is 6, 2 times 16 is 32, so I get the fraction 7 over 32. So that means that my first point that I'm going to plot is when x is negative 4, my y value turns out to be 7 over 32. Okay, plotting that, I go over to negative 4 on the x-axis, and then I'm going to go up only 7 30 seconds of a spot. Now, that's less than, that's about half of a half. So that would probably, I'm just going to estimate going up 7 30 seconds, about half of halfway up would be there. Okay, continuing here, now I'm going to substitute in negative 3 into my function and my function for y would now become 7 over 2 times 2 to the negative third power. I have to change the negative third power to a positive third power. So now my function would become 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the positive 3 power. Simplifying that out, I would get 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the third power is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 again, which is 8. Multiplying that out, 7 times 1 is 7, 2 times 8 is 16. So my second point that I'm going to plot would be when x is negative 3, my function turns out to be 7 sixteenths. Okay, to plot that point, I'm going to go to negative 3 on the x, which is there, and then I'm going to go up 7 sixteenths of a spot, which is almost going up half of a spot. 8 sixteenths would be a half, 7 sixteenths is just slightly less than a half. All right, now I'm going to plug in or substitute negative 2 into my function. So my expression will become for y, 7 over 2 times 2 to the negative second power. Rewriting this with positive exponents, I'm going to get 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the positive 2 power. Rewriting this so I have no exponents at all, I get 7 over 2 times 1 over 4. And now multiplying straight across, I get 7 over 8. So my third point that I'm going to plot is when x is negative 2, y is going to be 7 eighths. I go to my graph and I plot that point. I go to negative 2 on the x, and then I'm going to go up 7 eighths of a spot. Now that's just slightly below going up one spot. 8 over 8 would mean 1, so 7 over 8 is slightly below that. Okay? Now I'm going to substitute negative 1 into my expression. 7 over 2 times 2 to the negative 1 power is now my expression. Rewriting this so I have no negative exponents, I get 7 over 2 times 1 over 2 to the 1 power. Rewriting that so I have no exponents at all, my expression becomes 7 over 2 times 1 half. 2 to the 1 power is just 2. Multiplying that out straight across, I get 7 over 4, which is 1 and 3 fourths. So my next point that I'm going to plot is when x is negative 1, 
y is 1 and 3 fourths. So to plot that, I go to negative 1 on the x, and then I'm going to go up 1 and 3 fourths of a spot on the y and put a point. Okay? Now I'm going to substitute 0 into my expression, and I'm going to figure out what y is going to be equal to. So my expression will become 7 over 2 times 2 to the 0 power. Now, can't have 0 power, simplifying that, that part becomes 1, so this just becomes 7 over 2 times 1. When I multiply that out, that's just 7 over 2, which is 3 and 1 half. So that means when x is 0, my y value is 3 and 1 half. Okay, and by the way, going back to 7 over 2, if you're not comfortable changing that improper fraction into a mixed number, you can just divide 7 divided by 2 on your calculator. It would equal 3.5 which is three and a half. So I'm going to plot that point. When x is zero, I go up three and a half spots. Right there. All right, now I'm going to substitute one into my expression, figure out what y is. So my expression becomes seven over two times two to the one power. Rewriting that so I have no exponents at all. That becomes seven over two times two those twos would cancel each other out, so that is equal to seven. So when x is one, y is seven. I plot that point. When x is one, I'm gonna go up to seven on the y-axis, and I put a point. All right, substituting in two in the place of x, my expression for y would become seven over two times two to the second power. Rewriting that so I have no exponents, I now get seven over two times four, two to the second is four. I'm gonna think of four as four over one, and now I'm gonna multiply these straight across. Seven times four is 28. Two times one is two. Dividing that out, I get 14. So when x is two, y is 14. Now I'm gonna plot that point on my graph. I'm gonna go over the two on the x, and I'm gonna go all the way up to 14 on the y, and I'm gonna put a point here, okay? All right, now substituting in three. My expression for y will become seven over two times two to the third power. Rewriting this without exponents, seven over two. Two to the third power becomes eight. I'm gonna think of eight as eight over one. I'm gonna multiply straight across. Seven times eight is 56. Two times one is two. That divides out to make 28. So when x is three, y is equal to 28. So you can see when I try to plot this now, I'm gonna go over to three, and then I'm gonna go all the way up to 28, which would take me off my graph. And if I wanted to, I could extend it up. So that'd be 22, 24, 26, 28. Heck, that would take me all the way to the top of my graph. Okay, now I'm not gonna do the fourth point here because that value is just going to get larger and larger which will even take me further off my graph. But now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. This is not linear because I cannot connect all the points with a, with a straight line or with a ruler. So that means my graph is going to be a nice smooth curve which is what I should expect because my graph is going, because it's an exponential graph. And I get that graph right there. Okay, so that would be number two.